All right, so, um, yeah. I read one of the comments that someone put under the video that I posted earlier when I was at the unemployment office. Um, first off, um, I don't want to call the person's name out because I, I, I personally feel as though I went a little hard and I still want to go harder on this person. Um, but this person will say is that I'm taking my frustrations out on them. So let me see if I can make this video as professional and as um, sensitive to people's ears as possible because I, I, I tend to have a short patience with ignorance. Especially when somebody else is trying to make me feel as though that my questions or my concerns are irrelevant. So, as I said in the post about the unemployment office is that I submitted my claim about two months ago. And that was an Uber claim and a Home Depot claim. And I still had a full-time job at that time that I just recently got let go from. However, the unemployment office system keeps saying please allow 48 hours for your claim to be processed. For two months, it's been saying the same thing. I literally had to call another off branch of the unemployment office. I think it was called the retro payment or something like that. And I left them a voicemail and those individuals called me back. However, and, they, and then they actually got me over to the correct department and the correct department said that it was going to help me and blah, 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 all this other stuff. So today I went to the unemployment office and I spoke to a gentleman, um, security guard, who is telling me there's nobody there that can assist me. Meanwhile, I took pictures of the vehicles. I'm, I'm counting six cars. I'm, see how, I'm, I'm counting six cars. So there's people in the back working. You could have clearly went to the back because there was other people outside with me. Because I pulled up, there was a lady and her daughter that was there. Then there was another guy who I think was a delivery, a, uh, a, he, he got out of a semi-truck. He got out. He was asking me a few questions. Um, meanwhile, nobody was nobody tapped on the door. I tapped on the door to get the attention of someone in the building. So when that person came to the door, I explained to them, as y'all seen in the video, they telling me that I need to calm down and to allow them to express themselves or whatever. I said, okay, cool. I shut the fuck up, allowed them to say what they were going to say, which I already knew because I already, I already did everything that they told me to do, the security guard told me to do, I did that. So when he told me basically to shut the fuck up and let him speak, I shut the fuck up and let him speak. And lo and behold, he said the same things that I've already done. My last resort was to come to the unemployment office because there is somebody that's supposed to be in the building Monday through Friday from, what, 8 a.m. to, I think, 5 p.m. There's supposed to be people in the building that is supposed to be processing the claims for the unemployment office. But you mean to tell me y'all only have six people that work at the unemployment office? Do you mean to tell me that the unemployment office for that county Griffin or whatever, for anybody who submit their claims to Griffin, Griffin only has six employees, because I counted six cars, including the security guard car. So, there's only six people working, and you mean to tell me you couldn't pull one of those six people from the back to just simply entertain the people that were at the front door along with me? And and people will be so quick to say is that, you know, Lonnie, you're not the only one that's going through something. Oh, Lonnie, you're not the only one. Da, 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 da. I get that. But just like Rosa Park wasn't the only, about to call the lady a bitch, but that's how I speak. I curse. I grew up cursing. Just like Rosa Park was only one woman. Even though there was a woman before Rosa Park, but she was pregnant, but they didn't want to use that woman because she didn't fit the image that the civil rights wanted to, 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 to have to make the world be more sympathetic 
to the struggle of black people. So they pissed all over the pregnant girl who stood up to the bullshit. But for Rosa Park, because she fit the fucking image, she became the symbol. Which is cool because we were able to get what we needed. And I'm not comparing myself to Rosa Park, nor do I want to be Rosa Park, nor do I want to be Martin Luther King or any. I just want motherfucking money. That's it. And if I have to document this along with my book that I'm writing, then fine. I will do it. But don't sit up here and tell me because I said fuck that that gives somebody the right not to help me. Are you serious? So that also gives a person the right not to help me because I'm because I went to a racist ass town. And anybody who people want to say is that you can't say that the town is racist and this and that da 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 da. But what I will say is this is that this man had the opportunity to assist me by getting someone to come to the front door and he did not do that. Now granted, they probably was right there. I left over 10 messages on the recordings. I've sent emails. I sent facts. Like, be telling me I, the governor. Like, I've, I've exhausted every single thing that this guy told me I needed to do. So the last resort was to go to the unemployment office and see if I can speak to someone. And to have somebody blatantly lie in my face telling me that there's nobody in the building. Meanwhile, if there's nobody in the building, how are you able to open up this front door? And then you tell me that you don't work for the unemployment office. If you don't work for the unemployment office, why are you opening up the door? Why are you even wearing a security guard uniform? Matter of fact, who is paying you? Because if the unemployment office is not paying you or the company that you're working for, why are you even there? Are you that? Uh, are you part of the militia that Trump is sending out into the different cities across America, and you're there to protect the building for free? If that's the case, sir, you need to stop doing that shit for free. You need to make sure that they're paying you to guard that building. And this is the and and this is what people. This is why I don't talk to my friends. This is why my friends say some things that don't make sense to me. I just say, okay, and I keep the shit moving. Because none of this shit is making sense to me at all. And for this guy to tell me to my face there wasn't nobody in that building, and I saw somebody walk right across the back door, in the back, that back door in the back, and I'm just like, twice. It was two different people. And you mean to tell me ain't nobody there but you. But I done saw two people walk past the other side of the building. So the back office. However, he didn't lie when he said there was nobody in the section where he was. He was right. There was nobody in the main section. Just him, the security guard. But in the back, there were people. And his ass just didn't want to go to the back. And... <sighs> it is just so amazing that people ears get really sensitive when they hear fuck, shit, damn, faggot, gay, LGBT. Everybody ears wants to get sensitive or they turn off. But when the tables are turned, those same individual want somebody what would want someone to help them. And I can go through Instagram and see where they ask for help. And I'm just like, and, and some of the shit that they be posting, I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to start giving people the same fucking energy they give me on Instagram. But I really just had to post this because I know I am not, if there's anybody else out there that's going through the same struggle with the unemployment office... You are not alone. And I refuse to create an only fucking fan page because the guy that I was talking to is telling me that his friend, and I'm not going to throw his friend name out there, 
Uh, but his friend was once married, but he's no longer married. And uh, let's just say that his um, the lover's name reminds me of what was that? That special bubble gum that we used to always eat as kids or whatever that you can blow bubbles with or whatever. So anyway, my ex is telling me that I should create an OnlyFan page and play with myself online and I can generate, you know, people have bought houses and everything like that. Bitch, are you serious? You telling me, somebody that you're in a fucking relationship with, that I should create a fucking OnlyFan page? And that's exactly why we're not together right now. So if I have to if 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 I have to my humble opinion degrade myself to make sure that I can eat. And I'm not saying those who create only fan pages are degrading themselves. I'm not. I made a uh, I made when I was a kid, I made a pact with myself never to sell my body. And never to do shit for money, f sexual favors for money. And for somebody to tell me that I'm in a relationship with to create an OnlyFans page? Bitch, are you serious? But my ex didn't know that the Scarecrow had a fucking brain. Yes, people, the Scarecrow has a brain. And the Cowardly Lion has motherfucking courage, bitch. However, this energy is the energy that I never give to my friends. This is the energy that I, when I go to parties or go to function and people want to shit on me and say a little slick shit and think that I can't catch the shit. Bitch, I catch every fucking thing. I just look stupid, but I'm far from it. But anywho... I just had to get that rant out because that guy really got the fuck under my skin. However, the other guy who answered, the other guy who does security, who understands is that who understand the plight of, that I was referring to, is that security guards, they they're there to protect the people in the back, as well as if the person in the back is telling them. I am not here, so anybody come to that motherfucking door, you better tell them that I'm not here. And I've done that for people a lot doing security. Even though the person is in the back, I would tell somebody that no, there's nobody here. I'm lying through my fucking teeth in a sense because the main part of the room, there's nobody there. Like right now. There's nobody in this room with me. <laughs> there's nobody in this room with me but it doesn't mean that there's not somebody in my bedroom that doesn't mean there's not somebody in my bathroom and it doesn't mean that there's not somebody in my kitchen or my living room but in this room right here wording is everything but in this room right here there's nobody in this room but me so there's nobody in this building but me Anyway, guys, that's enough of my rant for today. I think I got everything out of my system. I really want me a drink, and I have not had an alcoholic, a real alcoholic beverage in a long ass time. I need a fucking drink. <laughs> I might need to smoke some weed or something, but bitch. I need me a fucking drink. I might have to start smoking weed. <laughs> Cause bitch, the fuck is this shit? <laughs>